Good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, I'm back down in my um, little workshop. Um, you can see I got my flag hanging up there. There's my table. Still a work in progress. Um, right now, the weather's cold, and uh, I can't use this table upstairs because there's too many people around, so I can't do it. So I'd rather do it when there's nobody around. So, but. I have a um, package today, um, a new RC car. This is my first short cars truck, but I'm not going to tell you the brand and name. I want you to figure it out. Or I want to show you once I take this wrapping off of it. So let's get to unboxing this and uh, let me know how you think. There it is. I don't understand why they do this, why they can't they just throw the box of bubble red. But I guess it is what it is, so. And a handy dandy box cover knife. So, try not to hit the box. So you guys can see it. This is a WL Toys 12423. Because believe it or not, I got the 28 upstairs, the little green vehicle there. And I was thinking, hmm, why the heck not? Let's get the short course truck. So so let's take this, let's take it out of the box and review it. Let's see what it says on top, really, in a little bit for a minute. It's waterproof, and a 2.4 gigahertz controller, obviously. 112 full scale, four by four, four wheel drive. And it says it goes up to 50 kilometers an hour, which is about 30 miles an hour. So let's crack this bad girl open. Just when you think the tape freaking breaks. More tape, my lord. Finally. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Come on. Ah. Ooh, what do we got in the bottom here? Boy, she's in there. There we go. That's that with that. And this, we'll just put over here. And I need that for garbage, whatever. I'll just toss it in there. Put it over there. Let's see. Oh! There's our infamous manual. Right, to our brand new short horse truck. I got it in plastic, whatever. Got a couple tools. I'll just stick that in there. Let's see. This is upside down. This is the first thing is basically how to use your RC and precautions with it and the precautions with the remote, showing you what's what on the remote. So up there. And this is your basically your manual. And it gives you a good exploded view of it, of all your parts. And a good thing about this, if anything breaks, you can go and look it up on here and go and order it. So, the 
tools I include. That is your bolt for your wheels, or the cross wrench for the wheels. This is plastic. I like the metal ones. I have metal ones which are more stronger. And then you get yourself your little in front of the screwdriver for probably for the screw and the remote. So without further ado, we have some straps. Let's see if I have a cutting tool for that. Most likely I do. This should work. Yeah. I hate when they strap these things down, but like I said before. in the bottom of that? Nope. Let's get rid of that. Alright, make sure nothing's hanging on it. Pretty bouncy. Pretty bouncy. I like that. Supposedly it's supposed to have headlights on it, and it looks like it does because it's got the little circuit boards for the lights. So, let's park that for a minute and Let's check our, our last but not least box. All right. There is our controller. What else we got in there? Oh, we got a third box. It goes from big, small, smaller. Kind of like one of those little Russian things. It's a regular wall charger, so I'll stick that there. So that's this is our short course truck. That is our short course truck. We are going to look at it. We're going to put this off the side. Go back up in my room. Put batteries in it. It's four AA batteries. have such a hard time putting this caps these covers back on something all this one time all right excuse me Whew. let's get these pins out I figured they're just too fat for these pins around turn around one more time Voila! So, seems pretty thick. They're getting better on these shells. So, that's pretty good. So, right there. Alright, let's see what we got here. Here's our battery. And the battery tray. Almost the same setup of it, like its brother. Let's see, what kind of battery do we have? 7.4 mil, 1500 milliamp an hour. I have like at least five of these now. So, but let's take a look at what we got inside. They got different shocks on this because 
has this each independent shock system on it. And you can tell it has the lighting system hooked up for it, which is right here. Um, this, I believe, let's see what it says on the side. It's a 540 can motor. I don't know how many turns it is. It's a 7.4 motor on it. And it's a pretty good sized motor on it. And there's some metal plates. The drivetrain goes right through it. It looks like metal. This is plastic. There's a metal bracket here. The shock's got metal tops. And the middles are and the middles are all metal. Um that's a pretty strong stir servo, excuse me, servo. Drivetrain seems pretty good. But, oh yeah, so, yeah, I'm liking it already. So, I will get batteries in it, I will charge up the battery, we will get this, we will get this truck on the road, and then, uh, we could, uh, do a quick video showing how it looks at runs, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I have some more packages coming. Um, probably some unique packages I'm gonna do. So, but I'm gonna do some on here and let you guys keep you guys informed of what I'm doing. So, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and I will come down with some more videos. Y'all have a good day.